Okay, so we've got our engine and hydraulics kit here, which is new to Pico Technology. So inside the kit, what you're gonna get is we're gonna get a 4425 automotive scope, plus or minus 200 volts on the input, so absolutely fine for testing most diesel injectors especially. Two current clamps, 2060 and a 200 and 2000. 2060 is great for looking at injectors, especially now as um, a lot of plant and agriculture is going into common rail. 2000 amp clamp, again for starter motors, which is a good battery test, which is you get in PD. The standard usual um, test leads and back probes are also included in the kit. The test leads themselves are actually five meters in length, which is great for working on some of the larger machinery. The hydraulic pressure transducers, we get two in this kit, but more of that in a second. And obviously to go with them transducers, you get two BNC to BNC leads and two charging cables as well. Amongst other things in the kit, there is also some breakout leads and some fuse connectors. These are really, really useful in conjunction with the current clamps, especially if you're looking at low pressure fuel pumps. So, WPS 600, as I said, we get two in the kit. Auto zeroing, so it's literally power on and we're ready to go. We use a standard Minimess 1620 port, which on any system out there using the same Minimess connector, it's just a case of screw on, select your input range between 600 and 60 bar, and we're ready to go testing. Now obviously just make sure that your software is set up with the correct range. WPS 600 is particularly useful now, especially if we've got two, we can actually start to look at hydraulic pressure and system pressures whilst in conjunction looking at engine RPM or diesel control, etc. So we can actually start to get to the bottom of some of the more tricky diagnostic problems that are out there now that we're seeing more and more advanced features on modern plant and agricultural machinery. Now, as with hydraulics, we do recommend um, getting the appropriate training. There's a, quite a high safety risk involved with looking at hydraulics. So always make sure you're, you've got the correct knowledge and training in order to carry this out. And always, always please wear the uh, recommended PPE. Now for further information on the kit and um, some more resources and training guides, please visit our website, www.picoauto.com.